Here's a little bit of background about the Hebrew people. So the Hebrews moved into the Fertile Crescent in 1800 BCE. The first five books of the Hebrew Bible were given to the Hebrews by God, who we talked about in class is the God of Abraham. The Torah is the name of this book. Uh, in the Torah, God chose Abraham to be the leader of the Hebrew people. And in 1800 BCE, Abraham leaves Ur, and he and his family, his extended family, go to Canaan. And the Hebrews view this as the promised land. So the Hebrew people were monotheistic. Remember the word monotheistic means belief in one God. This was the first monotheistic religion in world history. To compare it to the religions of ancient Sumer that we have been studying or mentioned, um, there are a lot of commonalities. They have important books, they have people that they view to be the religious leaders, though they didn't believe that in ancient Sumer they did not believe in one god. We'll look at the religions of ancient Egypt a little more later this year. Judaism is the belief that today comes from the religion of the Hebrew people. Um, it was one of the tribes of Abraham. It's important that you understand in Judaism the biggest belief or the main belief that started it was this covenant that existed between Abraham and God. The covenant, it's important that you understand, is an agreement that existed between God and Abraham and his descendants. Essentially, the belief is that Abraham promised to obey God and God would protect Abraham and his descendants and give them their homeland. For a period of time, there was a famine in Canaan, and the Israelites were left without a home. Uh, the Hebrews became the Israelites during this time, and the name comes from Abraham's grandson, Jacob. During the famine, the Israelites leave Canaan, and they go to Egypt because Jacob's son, Joseph, had been chosen as a top advisor to Egypt's pharaoh, so they were welcomed there. In fact, they were given places of honor at first, and then by the next pharaoh, they were enslaved, working on building projects for the Egyptians. This will lead to the great exodus. God tells Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. That's what the exodus is. The Ten Commandments becomes a basis for laws for the Israelites and have since become an important part of Western civilization and uh, Judaism. After the Exodus, uh, or during the Exodus, the Israelites wander in the Sinai Desert before Moses finds two stone tablets called the Ten Commandments. This is believed to have strengthened the covenant, covenant between the Hebrews, the Israelites, and God. This is not a real picture of the Ten Commandments. This is just an image. After the Exodus, the Jews then return, the Israelites then returned to Canaan after a period of time where they had been wandering in the desert. Joshua leads the Israelites back into Canaan, back to the land that was their promised land. But when they get there, Things are very different from how they had been when they left. Uh, other groups lived there, and there were very powerful leader, leaders in walled cities. Joshua had uh, troops made of 12 tribes to reclaim the land from the rulers that lived there. Jericho was the first city that fell under Joseph, under Joshua's troops, um, but Canaan overall, it actually took 200 years for the Israelites to reclaim control of Canaan. Uh, once the land became 
Israeli land, it was then divided between the 12 tribes that had fought for this land. Uh, it's important to note that during the war there wasn't one single leader. There actually were uh, judges that were in place to, that gave advice and led these people during the, uh, during the war. Uh, these were some great military leaders that if you have studied the Old Testament at all, you may have heard of, like Gideon, Samson, and Samuel. Uh, the judges ensured that the tribes were united and spoke out against the tribes that turned away from the traditional religions. So that's how the land of Canaan was reclaimed by the Israelis, and that's how the kingdom of Israel came into existence. So we will talk next about leaders, but you're studying those leaders, so I don't want to get into actually talking about those leaders until you have done your presentations.